Hey there. I am going to do a video hopefully to capture um, several weeks, eight weeks or so in a very short amount of time. Um, we will go back to November I think is when I got the last video to actually post to YouTube and um, I'm going to have to read this time because I don't remember all this. Um, we'll go back to when I had my follow-up consult um, after I got my new lap band put in um, and the questions that I asked him and what I found out about what they saw when they went in to um, put in the new lap band. Um, he said that, okay, he said he was in surgery and saw it. That was my uh, physician's assistant. He's always in the OR. So he says that they removed the scar tissue from the old area they placed a band in a track, but did not like the fit, so mo moved it to a different track before they um, tacked it in, or whatever you call it. Um, they thought it looked really, really good, thought it was in an optimal position. Um, scar tissue removal was from the flap of the stomach that had been pulled over the old band. Um, future fills will be done under fluoro. That's new. Um, my surgeon's office moved and they've got kind of like I guess you might call it a state-of-the-art office which I thought was pretty new. They were in a brand new office before but now they're in their own place and they have all their own equipment. They do um, all of their own um, just everything. They do the endoscopies, um, they do the fluoro, they, they can do everything there now. Um, so Future fills will be under fluoro or at least every other one. Um, let's see. That is about all the notes that I have from that visit. Um, they thought that my uh, esophagus looked good. My esophagus had not been stretched. Um, that's about it. So anyway, that was from uh, my first post-op visit. Um, since that time, I had a fill on December 23rd. How about that, getting a fill two days before Christmas? But that went fine. They put in two cc's and it was under fluoro. Um, then I had another fill on January something or other. Um, and it was two more cc's and it was also done under fluoro. So um, January 19th. So I have a total of four cc's in my band. Oh, that was another thing. I have a bigger band this time. Um, it is, I think, a 12 cc band. Um, because of the area that they put it, they thought that a 12 cc band would work better than a 10 cc band. Um, so anyway, four cc's in that. Um, first fill, I had, um, I could tell a difference. I could tell a difference as soon as they got the band put back on. I will just say to anybody that has all their fluid removed out of their band and they think they have no restriction, um, I hope you never have to find out what it's like to not have a band because you will find out what no restriction is. Um, so as soon as I was banded, uh, I could tell that I had a band again. And I'm not going to say that I had great restriction because I still don't have the level of restriction that I want. But um, since I got the new band, I've lost about 20 pounds. Um, now, that was in the beginning, the first like three weeks or so with my pre-op diet and everything. Uh, three to four weeks, I dropped that real quick which was very refreshing because the the scale was just going up as fast as it could as soon as I got that band removed. Um, and you might remember I said it was like my body was like calories, yay, you know, we're going to grab onto them and we're going to store them and um, that, that tended to level off right before I got my band in once my system adjusted, I think, but nonetheless when I got my band put back on and um, my level of eating went down, um, immediate results on my weight loss. Um, now I've sort of leveled out and um, I am ready to get to that next level of restriction. Um, so what does restriction feel like for me now with four cc's? Um, in the mornings I do feel some resistance um, when I eat, um, but other than that through the day I don't, I still get hungry between meals. Um, 
it does give me a feeling of fullness. I don't, I haven't really noticed a soft stop yet, um, but I do get full. I mean, there's, the, I, I'm not inclined to overeat at all. Um, still have some like snacking issues between meals, but it's, it's minimal. So we are headed in the right direction. Um, let's see. So I've been through Thanksgiving with a new band. I've been through Christmas with a new band. I've been through January with a band. I mean, um, New Year's. And I've also been through my birthday recently. So I think I'm doing pretty dang good. I've had uh, no gains, um, losses, and been able to mostly maintain, which um, feels pretty darn good. Um, but I'm ready to kick it up another notch and get moving in the, the right direction again. So um, I have my next fill. I almost bet two cc's would be too much. Um, I don't think he'll probably do two, two cc's this time. I'm guessing maybe 1.5 might put me right in a, in a good area, 1 to 1.5. We'll see. Um, what else? Gosh, I should have went through and wrote down questions. I've had lots and lots of questions. Um, my arms are doing great. I'll be a year on February the 10th. Um, for the time that I decided to have this done, which was before I had lost all my weight, um, I think my arms look pretty dang good. They're, they don't have that hanging mess hanging down off of them anymore. Uh, the scar's not pretty, but it could be a lot worse. Um, you can't see a scar when I have on sleeves, and I can wear normal shirts. I think this is a large, large, it's a real thin, type jacket. I think this is a large. It might be an extra large. I don't know. But anyway, I, my arms fit into it fine. Um, that's really all I can think of. It's uh, fairly boring at this point. Um, comparison in my new manual to my old manual, lap band rules are still the same. Uh, with my surgeon, nothing has changed in the past two and a half years on the do's and the don'ts. Um, the biggest struggle I'm finding right now is uh, meal planning, um, and it's not so much the, the planning, it's remembering what I ate. So I've been trying to go back through videos. Last night I made some pretty high protein, uh, I made little quiches without a crust, basically just eggs and um, cheese, bacon in half of them and sausage in the other half, and I put some spinach in them and I have them frozen in the freezer so I can pull them out. And I cut them in half because they were little mini loaves and I don't think I could probably eat a whole one in the morning. So I cut them in half and they're about 10 grams of protein. Um, yogurt, I mean, I'm just eating pretty much the usual things, but I need to kind of expand and sit down and take some time for myself and make a list of what I could eat that will fill me up in small portions, high protein. Um, Gosh, I don't even know what else to talk about, but um, I guess that's it. I know, boring. That's kind of me lately, but um, cross your fingers that this uploads because I'm about to the point where um, if this doesn't upload, I don't know that I'll ever try and upload a video to YouTube again. I'm pretty frustrated with the new design, um, and I don't know why I'm having such troubles. Part of it's not YouTube. Part of it was my video camera froze up uh, one time when I was downloading a video and I lost the uh, all the footage that was on it which would have had my previous video that I'd done too back um, in the beginning of November but anyway that's it um, after I get my next fill I'll try and do another video and let you know how that feels um, basically that's it so take care, everybody. Bye.